Hey guys, this is the second part of the HSB tutorial on how to MIDI map tractor and machine while using the HSB format. For this, we create a new dynamic MIDI device like shown in the first video, which I would really recommend you to watch. We click on Add Out, and to show you all that, I'm going to take the low adjust parameter for this. We click on Learn, smash the path. Sorry for taking so long. Duplicate it. Do the same for channel 2, node C0, and channel 3 for the brightness, node C0. And as you see now, when I move that low adjust knob, the color of the button will change. So I already created another MIDI device for that just to show you how it looks if it's like a bit more complete let me just set the output here machine virtual output and you see it there so i now set it to four buttons and you see it's flowing through all the colors and you might not want that so what i'm going to show you now is how to set a specific color for that so only the saturation and the brightness will change I set the MIDI range on 37 and let's say 38. You can also use the same values for both columns, doesn't matter. And for this one, 36 and 37, okay, that's not the one I took in first instance, but doesn't matter. 37, 38. And when I now turn the knob, you see it's getting darker when it goes on the left hand side and if I turn it up it flows into the green which I personally really really like. You could now also adjust the saturation as well so it stays green all the time and only the brightness on channel 3 changes but that doesn't matter now I mean you know how to do it and I already prepared another mapping for this so I again put the output on machine mk2 virtual output and now if I move the knob you see that it goes from dark green to very bright green. You see my knob moving here and I think that looks quite cool. What I want to do now is that the button shows up some kind of sequence wherever I put the knob I want let's say all the buttons to the third one but not the fourth one to light up and in order to do that I will be modifying the brightness parameter so that was the one on channel 3. I will now make use of the controller range. This allows us to set a certain range and above or below that range nothing will happen. It will only adjust its stuff in that range. So for the first pad I'm adjusting it to 0 till 0 0.25 because I'm basically going in fourth steps. Then I'm going to C sharp, which will be then from 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. Do the same for D, which is then 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 so it's always multiples of 0 0.25 and for the last one eventually 0 0.75 to 1.0 so what's happening now is that the pad will only react to that give only feedback to that when the certain range is hit as you see it it looks fucking great to be honest Damn, I really like that. I really like that. So you have that kind of flow thing, that kind of loading thing. You could do it in some controller rhythm routines or whatever you want to use it for. And yeah, that's the second part. I will upload a third part on how to find out all the colors. But yeah, for this you should be fine now. And thanks for watching.